okay I have already launched my web goat all right definitely and I have already logged in as usual all right so that's not a problem navigate to the cross-site scripting and then you will see just one small subsection at the bottom here which is the cross-site scripting we have completed the second lap all right then you have the third fourth fifth and sixth uh, page uh, a lot of reading all right so i'll leave that to you uh, there is a funny character code appearing on this uh, tab 4 but uh, just ignore it i'll explain that one in the class all right then you have the fifth reading and the sixth reading so i'll leave this to you the next lab is actually on the num tab 7 where you have been given something that looks like a shopping cart all right so this is your page here all right so this is a shopping cart you are also given a code right here this code over here all right javascript code all right so it's a javascript uh, alert here all right i'm going to copy this code all right, so i'm just going to copy this and what is your objective here is basically to identify which field is actually susceptible to the xss in this particular form now technically of course you should try one at a time using the code given all right using this code given here but let's go through the theory a little bit all right if i look at this form the first thing i will notice is that there is quantity all right all these here are quantity all right uh, quantities normally are numeric numerical field so to use numerical field for scripting attack is not likely don't say it's not possible but it's not likely the my first choice uh, then i'm only left with these two few down here one is a three digit access code uh, this three digit access code probably is also numeric it might be or it could be text uh, but i am not likely going to take this as my prime suspect is because three digit is going to be too short unless of course if i break the maximum length of this particular form uh, but there is something interesting here is this part here which is the credit card number now credit card number because credit card may have spaces uh, it may have other symbols all right so chances are it is text all right text field and it is of somewhat certain length maybe not very long but it is still uh, most likely longer than the quantity field as well as the digit three digit access code field so i will place the script here let me paste this one here all right so i put the script inside here and you will get the press the update card and you will actually get a well done message here all right of course your browser could be blocking the script itself but that doesn't really matter because we have already identified that the credit card number field here is uh, open okay, uh, to this XSS attack and basically this is a very simple code that you can use to uh, try out the field to see whether is it really open to attack or not All right. uh, well this is basically on to the lab seven all right 